Good morning, what? fancy beauties what? and balls. This pump. This pump. Hey, it's the first day of school for AJ. You want fist pump? Fist pump. Boom. So I wanted to come in so I can capture this That's moment. That's his backpack. Yeah! He ready! So I wanted to make sure I got this on um, videotape, those special moments, you know what I mean? And I want to sit, I want to sit in the Yeah. Come on, we gotta go. So I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to check back in as soon as I get back in the house. So I want to make sure he don't miss the bus. All right, guys. All right, y'all. So I made it back. And um, I had a little hiccup. Uh, the bus didn't show up. So I had to take AJ um, to school myself. But we got that worked out. Now I got to get myself ready. And I'm trying to hide the, um, the furniture back there because I ain't did the video yet. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I got to go ahead and get myself ready for work. And um, I'll, I'll be back up in here with some more vlogs now that things are getting ready to kind of get back to that place where I can do it I'll be doing makeup and all that other stuff and let me tell y'all I've I sincerely sincerely appreciate you guys hanging out with me and just rolling this ride with me up down unstable <laughs> and everything else so I truly, truly appreciate you guys for all the love and support that you show our channel over here. So, in the meantime, in between time, I guess to go. I guess to get off of here and um, get this day started for myself. So, I'll probably check in tonight uh, once the boys come in or whatever and before I lay my head down. So, we got a big day tomorrow, AJ and I. This family, we have a big day tomorrow, and I'll share that with you guys um, as well. So, yeah, just keep it locked. Stay prayed up. Stay locked in with God. Don't let nobody deter you from being on the right path, which is on the path of righteousness. And stay fancy. Peace out. What's up, Fancy Beauties and Bows? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Gina. And I'm coming back in with a video, long-awaited video. This one is going to be showcasing uh, the updates that I did to the living room. So, uh, without further ado, I don't want to waste no time. It's not completely done, guys, but I, I think... It's 90% done. Um, I got some things to do in the background, and I'll show that to you as we're going along. So let's go ahead and take a look at the new furniture. All right, guys. So here is the new furniture. Of course, this is what I just had you sitting on, so that's why that pillow looks like that. But this is Ashley Furniture, and I got a really great deal on this furniture. Um, I picked it up from uh, the store in the area. It's called Circuit World, and this was $1,700, I believe. So I'm trying to remember the name of this. Uh, I cannot remember the name of it, but I looked at the Wilcox, and that's what I wanted at first, but they didn't have it at Circuit World. And I wanted to just get it, and I wanted to get it now. So I went on their kiosk, and I picked this furniture out. 
and when I tell you it's absolutely beautifully comfortable it don't even begin to say all of that in that in that description okay this is my spot right here this is where I chill those pillows came with it alongside of there the ones that's right here and that one in the corner and that one in that corner you guys know I already had those so this rug that is down here I've already had this rug okay this was from uh, oh I got that from Badcock okay so that's the ottoman and I have it placed right there this right here I'm gonna go ahead and chalk paint that and that is uh, an inspiration from Sharon she's so fabulous so if you guys don't know who she is I'll link her video down below I put those beautiful mosaic pictures up there and those are super heavy guys I got a good deal on those because there's some um, irregularities I uh, it was broken but I, I just ordered some mirror to fix that one right there and then on that side I just have to figure out how to fix that and I think I'm just gonna use the the, the material you use to fix holes in the wall I'm I'm gonna try that and then if that doesn't work I'll figure something else out but I got those for I think it was like 40 bucks $48 and they were regular 70 80 dollars from Ross and then I put this here my little table situation I put those lamps right here I've had those forever those lampshades though came from Walmart and I think those look absolutely gorgeous on those lamps down beneath don't pay any mind to that clear one I just put that under there because I just needed it out of the way and that one right there is gonna stay the turquoise is gonna stay right there I think that is super pretty really beautiful and you guys know I picked that up from uh, home goods yes so I had that black sleeper sofa right here this furniture guys it's been here for mm, maybe a good month now so I'll show you where I ended up putting that uh, sleeper sofa but I picked up these flowers from the Z gallery and I'll show you well you guys know those those are absolutely gorgeous and these pictures I picked up from home goods as well I left my fireplace the same so I have my girls my my daughter there rest in peace rest in heaven my niece my grandson and my granddaughter they're all up there and that's not even all of them so let me take you out here so you can see where I put that uh, furniture alright guys so this is my sunroom and it comes right off from the living room and I went ahead and I had to put it somewhere because it was too heavy for me to take it back downstairs so once I set it down in here I was like oh yes honey this is giving me so much life I gotta change those curtains back there and I'm gonna put uh, probably some white ones uh, up there my table that I had inside of there I put out here so I just put my little, um, I don't know, what do you call those things? But I picked those up from Burks. And then this was a gift to my mom and she gifted it back to me because she's now staying with 
one of my sisters and her husband. And then uh, the, the pillows, you know, those have been around forever. And my little table right there, I put a rug down here. And then I just put this area like this right here. Just so I come out here and sit and just chill and watch outside. Because that's my view outside, you know. So I could just have myself with one with God. And do, you know, my thinking and things like that. I had this already you guys know most of you been with me for a while you know that's been here forever and then this is just my little sitting area this table I was using for the kids to sit but when that furniture came I couldn't keep that out there so I had to bring it out here and everything just came together so I'm gonna see if I can search for some better um chairs which I know I can find those but I just want it to look a certain kind of way but yeah this is gonna be my little chill area and then I just put a little picture up there and then this is the way back inside the house so yeah I'll give you a view over here coming back in so that over here I decided to just pair that because those vases, they were over where the white and brown is over there. So I just put it over here because that red over there was driving me crazy. I was like, uh-uh, that can't go there. So I figured it looked better since I had the red clock. And I think it looks really nice, guys. So this is the view again coming in through the front door and this is what you see when you come in and there you go all right guys so that is the reveal of the living area and as you can see right here this is where the kids and I um, walked through to get inside of there and I'll, I'll be honest with you this was almost too big for this space but luckily it ended up working out so I'll give it to you from this angle as well if you can see it better so that's the fireplace over there so you can see even that table I'm not super happy with that table because the space is really limited inside of there it really is so I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna leave that right there um, like that or what I'm gonna do so I give you a close-up see that's the walking space that we have on both sides and then of course there's enough space right here to sit and chill and I want the table there because you know we have drinks or whatever I'm thinking about changing that rug too and um, just getting something else a nice little flat um, area rug that'll be enough room to go up underneath it but I believe I want the table to stay there I don't know and you guys know I am one that will change the sectional how where it sits because I'm thinking to maybe have have it go this way so this part will be over across where that TV is and then move the TV over there so y'all know I'm I'm always one I did it with my last sectional 
I'm one that will move that thing around. But this one, whew, she's a colossal beast. So, I don't know if I can move her like that. But we'll see. But yeah, I just want to give y'all a little, little view of what I did to the place. So, there you go. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm finished. I would do a video while I'm doing it, but I'm scared I might mess it up because when I'm when I'm videoing, I'm like, okay, I gotta hurry up. And I don't wanna mess up because that'd be my first time working with chalk paint, first time painting some furniture that I really care about. You know what I mean? So, because that has got to come out right. But yeah, that's what we're looking like. That's what we're looking like. And see, it was going to be enough room for me to keep that table out here. So that's why I had to take it back and put it in there. I had it in there the first place. And I took it out because um, I didn't want the kids to end up messing that those chairs up or that table but so far so good we we getting it we getting it done and then that's just the baby's high, high chair where he sits but yeah all right so y'all let me know what you think of the new look and if you have any suggestions for what to do with that table you know let me know that as well so, until next time, fancy family, keep focus on God, stay prayed up, don't let things on the outside get to you and, and diminish the light that you are emitting out to the world. Don't let anybody dim your light. Stay fancy and stay with me. Stay with us. And I'll see you soon.